Uh, I have um, illustrated and or written, uh, I will go ahead and say many books. It's probably um, 70 now. And I would say that each book is different. And I, I mean, it's the same because I always feel like it's falling apart in the middle, so they all are similar that way. But I do uh, try to treat each book uh, straight forwardly. Sometimes I've wished I just had a way of just, you know, approaching every book kind of the same way and just doing it. It never has worked out that way for me. And I've always, well, partly because I do um, believe that a, the work of art in picture books particularly is the book itself. It's not the illustrations. It's not um, the text. It's the whole thing. So how pages are turning, how it is uh, arranged, how detailed or not detailed the art is determines how quickly you move through the book and that's important often. Um, kind of the rhythm of the book itself is determined by the look of the book. Generally I like to have uh, the art that I create feel like it's uh, very much on the on the surface of the pages itself, not like you're looking deep, deep, deep in, because I like it all to be um, uh, sort of right there. You know, there's different ways. Sometimes when you're reading a novel, you want to have the sense of looking deep, deep, deep into both the story and the illustrations. And I like that too, but generally in picture books, I like it to be more immediate and right there. One thing that I guess is usually true of my books is that they're fairly, my, the artwork anywhere, is fairly um, loose and uh, try, try to have it have a kind of an immediate feel so that if I'm using a big fat brush, you can tell it's a big fat brush. And I usually do use a big fat brush. So you see the, the dragging of the brush and the blotches and all that kind of thing. And that's part of the same sort of feeling of immediate C, I think. So I always work from smaller versions of the book, which is called a book dummy. And I make a number of those and, and practice seeing how that looks. And then the finished artwork then is generally the same size as the book uh, that will be made. So, uh, but usually I work with very small things first or half size. I always keep the dummies and those are kind of my most treasured things there in various boxes.